Hey folks, I had a question the other day. It's Uncle Z, by the way. And the question was, how would you do things if you were starting today? As some of you know, I started my career as a full-time producer creating music for some of the biggest brands in the world about 20 years ago, okay? And things were very different 20 years ago. And so the way into the business was a bit of a different journey than what it would be today, okay? With all the tools available, with the way that we communicate today, things are a bit different. And so if I was starting today, here's the few things that I would do differently. Back when I was starting, we didn't have social media. And so you really had to take the slow way in order to make the connections with people and to showcase your work. We literally would have to send like CDs. We'd have to go in to see somebody and actually like play our reel on a DVD. So obviously that has changed and Today, the opportunity that you have, which you absolutely need to be utilizing, is to have a social media presence where people can take a look at your work. The most important thing that I always try to teach my student in the academy is it's not just the work that's going to bring people closer to you, it's who you are as a craftsperson. Whereas in licensing, we're looking for the best track to put into a campaign or a commercial or whatever. In our business, the music producer who hires a musician is looking for someone who's able to solve a problem. So what I'm actually looking for is a person, a remarkable person, a problem solver, someone with style, taste, sensibility, ability to understand what I'm trying to say and what the client is trying to say. And so the thing that you can communicate today through social media is not just like putting songs on there, but taking us behind the scenes, showing us who you are, telling your life story. If the music is amazing already, then what takes you to the next level is telling your story, sharing your story, showing how you make music. That's what's gonna bring you closer to the people that might wanna work with you. It's not just the music. Sure, it's cool to license a track for thousands of dollars, but wouldn't it be even cooler if you make a connection with a music producer like me or some of my peers in the business and they notice you because maybe you send an email to them, whatever, they check you out online, they look at your website, they looked at your socials, but they got a real good sense and story about you and they know who you are and maybe they resonate deeply, not just with your music, but who you are as a person and that's very key because it's gonna allow you to foster that relationship. What's better than licensing a song every five years for thousands of dollars is having somebody who can keep feeding you projects because they like you, they trust you, and you guys work well together for decades to come. But it all starts with the ability to tell your story. A lot of you musicians are hidden. Some of you don't even have a website. The thing that I would do differently today if I was trying to be a freelance composer in our business is I'd definitely pick a social media platform through which I can tell my story. And I would continue to make music every day and I would share my story about why I'm writing this song, how I go about writing songs. Of course, if your music is the kind of music that has a chance of being placed in a commercial campaign, then already you have that going for you. But if you're the kind of person that music producer responsible for the campaign resonates with, then you now have two things going for you. You not only make great music, but you make a great creative collaborator that other people want to hire. The other thing I would add to this, if I was starting today, is not just making any music and taking people through the process on social media, but actually thinking of concepts that make the idea interesting. For instance, we get a lot of briefs in our business today where you make music with some weird instrument or some weird sound source. You know, there's like a concept that's driving the creation of the music. You see, for instance, Andrew Huang doing that a lot. And he's a perfect example of how this works today and how I would approach it. So you know that his channel is known for all these weird experiments, like I made a sound with balloons or whatever the case may be. There's always a concept or an interesting idea behind the music he's making. Recently, I've seen on his channel that Volvo commissioned him to create a track. Now, the reason why he has a following on YouTube is because he makes interesting videos with interesting concepts behind the music he's making. I'm not surprised that sooner or later, a brand came along and said, hey, you have the following, you're a cool guy, you have the image, you're making the kind of music we like, can you work with us to create a sound? So that's a perfect example, if I can summarize it in a nutshell, of somebody who's able to tell their story 
and basically take you behind the scenes of their life as a musician who is getting commercial opportunities now because they're telling that story really well. So you really have to come out of the basement and showcase your work. That's not enough. I would say that I would continue with outreach. So I've talked about in other videos the importance of setting up a routine where you're outreaching to people on a daily basis. So what becomes difficult for other musicians who are totally resisting showcasing their work and reaching out to people who they might want to work with, you turn that into an automatic action. So I would set up spreadsheet or maybe a CRM software like Folk, and I would start scraping LinkedIn profiles for music producers at music houses, film directors, editors, anybody who's involved in creating audiovisual content, and I would start filling spreadsheets of people that you might contact and share your work with. And then I would put my socials where all my work is, where I showcase my superpowers in a simple, clear, crisp, compelling way to those folks, and you'll be able to tell your story without having to do it yourself. They will click on the links, and if they resonate with you, they will get on a Zoom call with you. And by the time they have it, they will know roughly who they're gonna speak to. And the last thing I would do is get into a habit of not just working on loops that never get finished, but actually finishing tracks. Why? Because they, they become a resource. They become an asset that you can showcase, that you can make available, because one of the people that you contact, whether it's an editor, a film director, or a music producer at a music house, they might say right away, oh my God, I looked at your Instagram, that cover you did of that track is amazing, I deeply resonate with it. Do you have anything else like this in your library? Because right now, I'm working on a campaign, we need a track like this. This is how your career is going to jumpstart. If you actually have an easily searchable repository, a library of music that you have finished that's ready to go, that you can make available to the people you're outreaching to. What do you hope to accomplish when you reach out to someone? Of course you wanna meet with them for a Zoom, you wanna have good vibes, you wanna give each other high fives, you wanna be charming, you wanna laugh at each other's jokes, but ultimately what matters the most is that when there is an opportunity, and that's what you're hoping for when you're outreaching to these people. They're going to let you know. If they resonate with your social media profiles and the work you're doing, they're gonna let you know, hey, I'm working on something right now. Can you help me with it? And if you're ready to tackle that opportunity, your career is gonna jumpstart right there. And then your first client is not only gonna like you, but they're gonna trust you to solve more problems. So they're gonna give you more problems. But not only that, they're gonna introduce you to their friends in the business, which will make your job of meeting even more people and getting more opportunities easier in the long run. All right, folks, I hope this video helped. If you enjoyed it, I think you should watch this one next.